A 79-year-old Pueblo man is recovering tonight after he was attacked by two pit bulls. The attack happened last night outside a home on Frontier Street that's just southeast of downtown Pueblo in Blind. Tonight, animal control is taking action. KRDO News Channel 13's Katie Spencer joins us live from Pueblo Animal Services, where the dogs are being held right now. And Katie, we understand those put pit bulls will be put down. Yeah, James, the owner has signed the pit bulls over to be euthanized. He was also charged with two counts of unlawful ownership of a dangerous animal and two counts of dog at large. And neighbors say this isn't the first time they've had a run in with those two pit bulls. Terry Hervey says her neighbor's dog gave her a scare. I was surrounded by them in the street a year ago, and they had to be called back up there. She says she contacted animal control officers, and it wasn't the first time. Animal Services says this was the third report on the pit bulls since 2014. Neighbors admit they've seen the dogs get out of this fenced yard, but at least one says she doesn't believe they're vicious. Because they've never showed any kind of aggression towards me or my children. Linda Mitchell at Paws for Life says dog attacks are usually provoked and pit bulls get a bad reputation because people breed them to be aggressive. Um, we get more dog bites here from chihuahuas and poodles than we do from pit bulls um, because, again, of how they're raised. It's unclear what happened here last night to prompt the attack, but this neighbor says euthanizing the dog is the safest move for everyone. But if that was my grandson, and them dogs were coming to him, there's no doubt in my mind I would want them dead. Animal Services says the dogs will be put down as soon as possible for their quality of life. Reporting live in Pueblo, Katie Spencer, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Katie. And several cities in Colorado have pit bull bans. That includes La Junta, Castle Rock, Denver, and Aurora.